CNBCTV18.com presents Cloud Control towards a more integrated future of business in association with Oracle. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Cloud Control towards a more integrated future of business. A special presentation where we examine how cloud technology has emerged as a vehicle of digital transformation for businesses across sectors. Cloud databases are making it possible to store larger amounts of data while sophisticated applications powered by Gen AI are allowing businesses to offer innovative products and services at an ever greater scale. What does all this mean for the way businesses operate and how can businesses make the most of this cloud-born future? To answer all these questions and more, we are joined by an industry leader who has led the development of cloud technology in a variety of leadership roles and now serves as a trusted guide to businesses looking to build their cloud computing capabilities. Please welcome the Vice President of Cloud Engineering at Oracle India, Mr. Sarvaran Palinibail. Uh, Sarvaran, thank you very much for joining in. You know, in this digital era, if a company wants to embark on their digital transformation, succeed in their digital transformation, accelerate their digital transformation, cloud has emerged as one of the foundational elements, the building blocks. Um, so just set the context for today's discussion on how cloud is helping, uh, you know, businesses operate, structure the processes. Hi, Reema. Nice to talk to you. And thanks for giving us opportunity. Uh, clearly, cloud becoming a, a board discussion with every company, be it a startup or a banking or a retail or a manufacturing, right? Uh, they Every customer want to focus on their business while digital becomes uh, given to the I mean, experts who can give you the plumbing or who can give you the ready-made stack for them to kickstart and fast start their business. What it gives them a differentiation and against the competition, they're fast, fast go to market and easier their operations. These are the three elements cloud brings to the table and that give fuels their business much faster. Okay, so, got that. Fair enough. Uh, since you said that cloud has now emerged as a big boardroom discussion, now in the boardroom discussion, the question is also about which cloud strategy to adopt. And Oracle has a unified cloud strategy. So first, what is a unified cloud strategy? How is it different from a typical one? And two, how does it enhance your offerings to your customers? Okay. Very, very important point, and I, I think this is important for every customer as well. Uh, if you look at it, um, it's, a, it's like a horse and courses, if I can say. Um, every customers are unique in their own business, and they've been abided by the their regulatory industries. For example, banking, case in point. They hold all of our PA data, personal information data, with all of all of them in, the, in their core banking environment. So for which you need a cloud, which should scale, but it should be behind their firewall or within their data center. At the same time, a startup who is looking at a solution which can scale on a large scale, like a, I would say, uh, e-retail, right, or a, a, a supermarket applications. For them, the data is, I mean, the, the personal application data is not there, but they need a scale. They can be in the public cloud, right? The third element is a bank, a NBFC who wants to start their operation. So what they need, they need the core banking, they need the loan management application. Everything should be ready-made available for them to start the operation much faster. And this is where Oracle comes into the play. So we have one, a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud strategy. What does it mean? We offer customer, if there is a customer wants to put it in the data in the public cloud, we give them the public cloud, which is across our regions, across the globe. If the customer says, hey, I cannot move my data to the public cloud, can you bring the cloud to my data center? We have offering as well. That's called hybrid cloud, right? Now, a third customer says, hey, I want to stay, I mean, embark into a SaaS journey where I don't need to do all this plumbing, customization, nothing I want to do. I just want to get into my business as fast as possible. Can you give me a solution? Yes, we do have. We have solutions for those customers like ERP, and financial GBU, retail, communication, and whatnot. So we have this unified cloud strategy to meet where the customer needs, right? 
that's the most that's our foundation principle of our of our, of our company i hope this that helps okay so but does a unified cloud strategy also help uh, customers who want to completely overhaul their digital infrastructure who would you recommend it for okay uh, it's a great question see for example uh, i mean this is the it, it unified cloud gives you a customer a capabilities and the flexibility of the deployment, right? Now, same example from the previous question, if I can take that back, a retail customers, what they want. I want to have a building solution and I want to have a, a, a surround ecosystem to be connected. So we give them as a retail in a box, which means a retail solution ready-made available for them to start directly. Same for a banking customer, it's called bank in a box, right? So what it gives you is gives a head start to all the customers. Now, at the same time, there are, as I said, every applications cannot be a SaaS based. They may customization. There are a lot of customization inbuilt, homegrown, developed over a period of time, right? For those customers, we give the platform as a service, wherein all the services are inbuilt, ready to consume for them, irrespective of whether it is in the public cloud or the cloud are their own data centers, right? With this functionality, the customer can scale, take the cloud advantage and the cloud scale and the cloud benefits and bring the business tied to the technology and make it much faster for the business to grow. That's the strategy what we have, Rima. Got that. You know, Seven and all the enterprises, organizations that we speak to are all saying that, you know, we're deploying, you know, we're on the cloud, we're deploying our applications on the cloud. You know, it's making us more agile, making us more competitive in this environment. It's reducing our overhead costs. But, you know, just to take that point forward, which you said about uh, how some of your customers are taking advantage, they, you know, enabling them to scale up. Give us some examples of your popular use cases. Uh, how are some of your customers able to utilize the true scope and depth of Oracle's cloud applications? Yeah, very, very interesting and impactful questions. Let me give you, we have a plethora of examples, Rima, but I'll give you some of the top across the globe and within India as well, right? Let me start with the globe, um, Uber. Uber is our largest customer and they decided to choose the cloud and move their entire operations to the cloud, right? And they, the process, they are evaluated various hyperscalers and they put their ask very clearly, we want the cloud to perform the, the performance to be, I mean, to be the foremost, farthest most. Second, it should be secured cloud. Third, most important, cost predictability, right? Uh, based on this, Oracle was stand apart compared to other hyperscalers. Today, they are rock stock barrel moving from moving to Oracle Cloud, right? Chances are that whenever you book an Uber, which every Indian city says do use the service, there is a high possibility that it hits the Oracle Cloud, right? Because the migration is in progress, right? Uh, second example in the global, Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull racing is a, I mean, you know, it's a the second matters for a, uh, for, a, for a driver to clinch the race, right? Uh, we've been associated with them and the each, each I mean, I would say the, the, the car provides about close to 1000 plus signals for the various turn and then the uh, operational, how fast, how, I mean, how we accelerating, how we putting the brake, et cetera, et cetera. It does a real time simulation and provides information back free to the, uh, the, 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 the driver to take the right action. And take the right, I mean, and to get the right results, and that's one of the I would say the largest and fastest uh, I would say data which we could be able to process it and give it back to the uh, give it back to the in driver to take a necessary action. See, that's the global scale. Now coming back to the India, India we are uniquely positioned. The reason is we've been in the industry, India for a, quite a long period of time, and we've been associated with all of our enterprise customers. Uh, large banks uses Oracle, Oracle technologies, and large government uses Oracle technologies, right? To name a few, uh, the largest one, Indian income tax, uses our SaaS to reach back to the, the, the citizens on the tax payment and other things, 
right? They use our SaaS solution to do this part of it. Two, Deeksha, the country's largest e-learning digital platform, which has been more familiar during the peak COVID times where this platform being used to reach out to all the students to, to get their educations on the phone, right? Uh, element, be it a class two, class five, class 10, right? And that platform runs on Oracle Cloud. Today, that platform being completely have multi more, I mean, I would say advanced further, which future embedded like a AI technologies, and it's been furthermore enriched and enhanced to the to, to the to the students. That's a larger scale. The second side of it is payments, right? Today, UPI becomes the. I mean, I would question if any of the Indian citizen doesn't use UPI, but today UPI is the largest and most scalable. I would say payment solutions, right? Uh, one of the largest bank users runs a UPI on. Oracle Cloud. It's one customer, it's one of the bank. The other bank says, hey, I want UPI in Oracle Cloud, but in my data center. So we provided that so we provided the, I mean, I would say the hybrid cloud to other other bank to run the UPI. So UPI becomes the, I would say, the largest hit. For us, every bank, UPI runs in one of the technologies what we give offer them as a service to them. Right. So these are the two. I mean, I would say uh, the popular people scale applications. Other than that, many of the Oracle technologies, which you may know that um, Oracle plays a larger role in the manufacturing in terms of the ERP to uh, run their I mean, resource planning and HCM. Those, I mean, all the banks to an extent runs their HCM on OCI. Similarly, the ERP moves, I mean, be it Berger Paint uh, or be it, uh, I would say, the Polycap runs their ERP on OCI. Uh, very interesting. And so many, uh, you know, numerous examples of, uh, you know, where Oracle strength comes in globally and in India. But, you know, uh, the Red Bull, Uber example, these are large, you know, global, you know, enterprises. Uh, it must be a big advantage, right, that Oracle itself is such a big global company. So when you cater to the, you go up to an Indian client, uh, and they have global aspirations. They want to scale globally. It must be a big asset, right, to come to Oracle, um, you know, and, you know, bring in that global expertise. Uh, let me give it in a two, two, two context to it. A, customers today in India, be it a startup or a large enterprise, want to open their operations outside India, be it any continent for that matter, right? To do that, what they need, they need a, 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 a platform provider, and with the with the cost, what they able to, I mean, what they envisaged or what they been budgeted for, to a technology to go much faster. I mean, faster since I want to go to market faster, right? Oracle, the day one we, I mean, we we built this cloud ecosystem. Uh, in 2016, we started our first region. Fast forward, we have 70 regions across the globe. One. One unique uh, thing which we maintained across, I mean, from the since, since inception is our costing model across the globe is consistent, which means you 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 take compute from Oracle Cloud in India for and you pay for one dollar for an hour. The same compute, or the if you take the same similar compute in US, any region, or in Europe, or in Australia, you pay same one dollar. The price consistency gives customer. Uh, I mean, a huge confidence. Even I go to other region, I'll start small, I'll scale up, but my price becomes consistent. Point A. Point B is we operate out of all this, most of the countries, right? So what we enable them is the regulatory offering what we do. For example, if a payment industry, they should follow the PCAD is a standard. And if it is in Europe, they follow European standards, similarly in US. So those are completely, I mean, regulated, regulatory compliance are completely aligned. So the customer can, I would say, jumpstart and kick the process of it. That enables many of the customers in India who are our customers started their operations in and in Middle East because we have a region in Middle East which no one has it. So they are many of our startups 
who uses a cloud in India has started their operations in Middle East. Similarly, they are expanding to North America markets or ASEAN markets. And this is becoming, I mean, the advantage what they see is the cost and the technical uh, leadership what we provide to them helps them to move it much faster. You also uh, offer an integrated extensibility platform. What is that? What does it help with? How does it address a variety of your customers' different requirements? Very interesting question, uh, Rima. Uh, today, um, every customer, I mean, we offer SaaS. I mean, if you look at the platform, we offer a SaaS, data, AI, data, and the cloud, and the, plan, and the, and the infrastructure, right? The customers would typically embark into a SaaS journey, which is software as a service, which is a, pretty much a standard tool. Right, uh, it's a global standardization being maintained, and it has been built up and offered as a service to the for a manufacturing customers or a hospital hospitality or even a retail. Right now, again, it's one size doesn't fits all. In India, you have our own localization from the respect to the tax, with respect to the the way we operate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you need customization, right? And this customization typically is outside the SaaS platform and most of the time the data goes out and then do the customization of it. This is where Oracle uniquely position. We have SaaS and we have infrastructure which operates together in the in a one single platform. So what we give a customer who embarks the SaaS journey, they use our platform to build all the extensibility and the data secured within the cloud itself. The security has been maintained. Two, all the tool sets, what we what we what is required to for the SaaS customization, everything is inbuilt into this. So you use the tool set to do the to all the extensibility customization, make it readily available for SaaS to be more localized to the customers. That's a way our uniquely position. For example, uh, beat Apollo when they embark the journey of ERP, the financials on on the Oracle SaaS platform, they use a lot of customization in OCI to make it more regionalized or localized, right? So every customer of SaaS of us has this, OC, I mean, the platform, which is more extensibility being built in, and that becomes secured from the larger aspect perspective. Now let's move on to the hot topic of AI. So a lot of businesses want to experiment with AI. How does Oracle help their clients with their AI, gen AI adoption now? Okay, this is a, I mean, I would want to go on, go on and on, but then I'll make it very crisp. It is a loaded Oracle question. Is, yeah, it's a very heavily loaded question. But I'll give you a bit uh, Oracle is uniquely positioned in the Gen AI story. Okay. Um, we are, A, if you look at Gen AI, Gen AI needs, what does what it mean by Gen AI? It's a large language model. You have to train the model, right? And to train the model, what is the most important piece required? is data right and we are the data company for the last four decades every enterprise of us uses our data technologies to store the data so for gen ai which is has to be more efficient effective you need data and that data resides on oracle right now you look at the combination right so our story is um, uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, I would say very, very, very different. A, we have Gen AI embedded in our SaaS platform. So all of our SaaS, tech, SaaS offerings has Gen AI embedded, be it HCM, be it ERP, be it CX, or be it other GAU products, right? Now, that's the first element. Second element is data AI. We have the data services, what we're offering, and that enables customers to use our data embedded to the Gen AI. What does it mean? When they train the model, we use something called RAG, which is retrieval augment, augment generation, where customer uses their data to avoid the hallucination. So when Gen AI or a bot responds back, it gives as accurate as more closest to the response of the given customer or their end customer asks right so what towards that what we have done our latest innovation of oracle database 23 ai the vector search been embedded so every database today 
where customer uses for their core transaction has vector search activated. So it in, in a nutshell, it's already Gen AI enabled. So you have the vector search activated. You don't need to transpose the data. You don't need to transfer the data. Data is available, data is vectorized. Now all we need is put the model and query them out. That's the second aspect of it. Third aspect of it is the in to run a Gen AI, which is, I mean, I would say multi-billion parameters you need to build it across, you need a large infrastructure. And that OCI or cloud infrastructure being, I would fine-tuned. We use something called Rocky V2, which is RDMA over converged Ethernet, a unique technology where the GPUs work together much faster and much secure and deliver the results in a, in a cost efficient manner. This is our story on the Gen AI part of it. Right? Um, towards this, now, if you look at it, NVIDIA, who's the largest GPU provider for to fuel the large language model or to train the large language models, they run their models and they use our OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, to build their models. And they are our customers, right? Uh, and large language modeling, like all the top 10 AI companies in US runs their models on OCI. So that's our story on Gen AI, Prima. And your story is only going to get more compelling because you are investing massive amounts in hardware upgrades to train large language models, right? Absolutely, absolutely, and that's a, again um, that's where the I would say the the uh, uh, the legacy of the innovation. I mean the 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 superiority comes in, right? Um, we used to build something. I mean, or rather, not we use. We have we are pioneered uh, in a technology called engineered system. I would say which is a hardware and software together engineered together, right? On that we used. RDMA, which is Remote Direct Memory Access, as a technology to transfer the data much faster and also process the data locally, right? For example, you are processing the data, you, you need, you're running a query, the query gets processed and you have a large, I would say, eight lane highway to transfer the data, right? We took the technology and we put it in the large hyperscaler and built all the GPUs around that. What it gives? All the GPUs uses this technology to transfer the data much faster and gives the result, I mean, I would say 50% faster than uh, other, other, other hyperscalers. Right? I'm just giving estimation. Don't quote, I mean, don't, uh, I mean, it's not, it's model, it, it, it changes by the model. But the point is, we are very much, I mean, we are very faster in terms of delivering the model compared to other hyperscalers on these technologies. Uh, but are there any concerns that your clients have when it comes to generative AI? And how do you encourage them or give them comfort so that they can fully explore Gen AI capabilities? Good. This is a, I mean, a very relevant question to our customers. Today, if you look at it, one of the major concerns every customer has, or even it happens in the I mean, IT strategy committee meeting or any large meeting, is security. Security is the topmost concern, right? Especially on Gen AI, even more. If there's a common model, I'm giving my data to get embedded. My data becomes available to all the other customers as well, right? Isn't it true? That's the biggest concern customer has, right? Uh, so how we overcome this, right? Um, so we offer something, I mean, as mentioned, called RAG. And that is undone vectorized. So vectorized within the database itself, which means the data doesn't goes out. And drag enables the data to be within the customer's network. So the data doesn't go out to the model. But model, whenever needs the response or data needs data from the customer, I mean customer's information, it search, it fetches the data and gives back the result. By doing so. We give the Gen AI technology with the secured of their information and completely modernized to their requirement. That's the, uh, I would say, game, uh, unique differentiator from 
other offerings point a point b is as mentioned we offer gen when we embedded gen ai into all of our saas technologies right what it gives it gives a head start and gives much more further to all of our customers the same technology what we are adopted we offer it as a platform as a service to our customers if a hr customer comes hcm human capital management customer comes in and ask for hey how do i build a gen ai capabilities we say here is a recipe you can start for this for your set of customers so that gives the customer a jump start rather than coding building training you you jump start and get this embedded and take that advantage of it that's the i mean i would say a uh, two pronged approach we are talking we are we are embedded we are talking to the customer and that helps customer to fast start the gen ai um, adoption in their environment mm. so security is a concern but what about disruptions do businesses wonder that if they are embracing a complete cloud ai solution uh, it will result in a lot of disruption and is this an unfounded fear to your mind <laughs> okay um it's like this um reema for a speech recognition it took 17 years for a for a to get it handwriting recognition 14 years right fast forward comprehension just two years so the technology is going to develop and enable much faster that's the pace of the pace the technology gets developed right and gen ai especially is is kind of overtakes everything even the smartphone adoption as well right we know at the same time the 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 intelligence on the applications and embedding requires a lot of effort and that needs developers or ml scientists or deep technologies need to be embed this into the ai to be more effective and efficient right so what i would say is the mundane tasks will move away but lot of new age integration capabilities machine learning scientists deep learning scientists or data scientists required to make it more efficient that is the the key it's about how closer i be i take the gen ai to the to the customer to make it more reality to be more efficient that requires lot of i mean i would say i mean deep technologist and innovation in the space of it Sarvanan this has been a great conversation thank you very much for your time and invaluable insights well that's it folks ladies and gentlemen for the special edition of cloud control towards a more integrated future of business uh, we hope this conversation gave you a comprehensive overview of the transformative role cloud technology will play in how businesses imagine build and sell products and services in the future and of course how this progress will benefit us the consumers Join us again as we keep an eye on the latest trends emerging from the world of technology and business. Until then, goodbye. CNBCTV18.com presents Cloud Control towards a more integrated future of business in association with Oracle.